See that clock on the wall? Yeah. Five minutes from now, you're not going to believe what I've told you. Yeah, except this time it's true. It's all you ever hear. Juice fresh! You have to juice fresh! Well, I'm here to tell you to stop. Bars generate a lot, and I mean a lot of waste. And most of this waste is in the form of spent citrus hulls. A lot of talented people have come up with some very creative solutions addressing this. Many of them involve boiling the husks with sugar, acids, or both to create some kind of citrus cordial. These techniques are effective, but they have two flaws. One, they introduce heat. Citric acid doesn't like heat, and boiling the spent husks will produce unwanted bitterness. Two, and this is the big one, they all rely on reusing existing bar waste. They don't address what I feel is a bigger issue. How do we generate less waste to begin with? Enter Nick Morris. Nick was my boss at a super fancy cocktail bar I worked at a few years ago, and he currently runs a bar in Louisville called Expo, and he's invented a rather brilliant solution that addresses both of these shortcomings. This process will double your shelf life, triple your flavor, quadruple your yield, and do it at half the price. All of the information in this video is from a seminar Nick did last November, which I'll link to below. I'll break it down for you as quickly as I can, but if you're interested in how it came about or the nitty gritty of how it works, that video deserves a watch. Lemons and limes are the most common types of citrus waste that bars create, but to keep this video as short as possible, I'll only be talking about limes because they're the fussiest. They're more susceptible to oxidization than lemons, and the flavors are more sensitive, so anything I say about limes carries over to lemons as well. Okay. If I were to ask you what makes a lemon taste like a lemon, or what makes a lime taste like a lime, you might say the juice. And you wouldn't be wrong, but a more accurate answer would be the peel. Everybody knows what lemon heads taste like, and it ain't lemon juice. The essence of these flavors is in the peel. What makes limes taste like limes is oil in the peel and acids, specifically citric, malic, and succinic. Ascorbic plays a role too, but for our purposes we don't need to worry about it. Now, the plant matter in limes is highly oxidative, as a succinic acid, but if you took lime oil, introduced acids that add flavor, don't introduce acids that oxidize and add water, what would you get? Something quite compelling, and something that you don't need fancy lab equipment to make. All you need are limes, citric and malic acid, your peeler of choice, a blender of some kind, and of course, water. A quick word about acids. Both of these are available at health supplement stores, so if you can help it, please don't order them from Bezos. He has enough money. Oh, and get food grade malic acid. With that out of the way, here's the surprisingly easy way you make this. You want between 100 and 120 grams of peel. To get this, I used eight limes, but depending on the size, you may end up using more. For what it's worth, these eight limes gave me 116 grams. If you're wondering if zesting would be better, no. Too inefficient. I mean, you can, and if you go that route, have fun, but I'll stick with my Y peeler. Once you've weighed your peels, add 45 grams of citric acid and 8 grams of malic acid. Mix well and let this sit for an hour or so. The acids will have mostly liquefied by this point. Transfer the peels and acids to whatever you're blending them in, add 1 liter of water, and blend away. A couple notes, this recipe is not set in stone. Feel free to adjust the amount of peel up or down to your liking. Also, orange and grapefruit recipes are coming, they just haven't been finalized yet. Last, strain. You want to remove as much of the oxidant plant material as possible, so it's best to break up the cheesecloth, or if you have the patience, a coffee filter. This isn't necessary, but it helps the finished product last longer. All that work gives you this. This is what Nick has dubbed oleocitrate. Natural flavor from the peel, accelerated by lab-grown acids and lengthened with water. It lasts over a week in the fridge, and to many, would be indistinguishable from fresh lime in a cocktail. But that's not all. Mix it with the strained juice from the peeled limes, and you have what Nick calls super juice. Super juice tastes incredible, and in my opinion, outperforms regular lime juice in cocktails. If you think that's impossible, let's approach this from a different angle. With the oleocitrate and juice combined, this is the yield from eight limes. Eight. If you run a bar program, employing this method means you no longer have to buy citrus by the case. Instead of buying through Cisco or wherever, buy a couple of bags from a local farmer, support the little guy, and enjoy your newly freed up fridge space. Not to mention the money you'll save. Also, nerd but I think this is really interesting. By adding the fresh juice back into the oleocitrate, you actually shorten the shelf life because you're reintroducing oxidative plant matter and succinic acid back into the mixture. But it doesn't matter because the lime juice makes up a very small portion of the overall volume. And while lime juice turns bitter after about 10 hours, I was still putting this stuff into cocktails for five days. I'm not kidding. Still not sold? You leave me no choice. Blind taste tests it is. Okay. I get both. You get both. <laughs> Number one. I have a slight preference for this, but I have no idea why. I still like this one better. I, I am a sweet tooth, and to me it tastes sweeter. I get a little bit more of a candy flavor to it, and I, and I like that, but it doesn't overpower the rum, so I like rum too. I'm finishing this one.
Mm. This one seems spicier. Is it like a bougie honey? The only thing that's different is, is the kind of citrus. This one tastes spicier as best I can put it to me. Yeah, I'm telling you, this one is just much more honey to me than this one. This one just tastes more lemony, more bitey, like spicier. I like this one better. Now I want to know all about the honey. <laughs> what kind of honey is it? This is the honey that I use. I get it at Costco. I think I like this one. It tastes like, uh, more like lemon zest, maybe? They're definitely different. Yeah, that one. You made this with a London dry? Yeah. Is that what Old Faithful. <laughs> I mean it when I say you owe it to yourself to try this. And if you do, leave a comment and let me know how it goes. If you liked it at like, consider subscribing if you haven't already. And if there's something you think I should try, let me know in the comments. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Turn camera. Oh, just at a thousand subs. Cool.